Hello everyone, now let's come across uh, the next type of PLT we can call it as FPGA. Another interesting and uh, the complex topics from VLSI is FPGA. Now what is FPGA? So basically it is an acronym for Field Programmable Gate Array. It will be an acronym for what? Field Programmable Gate Array. Now when I come across FPGA, the question again arises is we are having a set of SPLD, we are having a set of CPLD, then why we are switching to FPGA. So let's come across why actually FPGA has been used. So basically, if you look at the simple programmable logic devices yeah, and uh, complex programmable logic devices, both are based on the same architecture. That is either the set of PAL or PLA. So we have seen in case of SPLD or complex maybe we have seen that PL ka block we use karte Now if we look at the industrial approach dekhenge, to over the years PLDs are grown in complexity obviously in terms of size with highly configurable micro cell addition. So this is the industrial requirement bharti gai, you know to complexity bhi bad raha hai size or jo highly configurable micro cells hai now hence to increase the size as well as to add more functionalities in a single PLD what we have introduced we are introduced with FPGA okay again the point of uh, discussion is what to reduce the complexity uh, to handle multiple inputs and output terms and uh, to cope up with the recent applications we have switched on to FPGA okay now when I come across uh, the architecture, how actually it look like. So a broader architecture of our FPGA will be like this. Okay, now if you see, it has uh, several blocks as a CLP, which we call configurable, configurable logic blocks. They are called as CLP. So this is configurable logic block which functions implement karte, boolean functions ko implement karte. now this is configurable logic blocks are interconnected with these lines aap dekh sakte. so these structures are definitely will be called as a row or ye jo hai, isko hum kahenge column so basically uh, when we deal with you know FPGS we have a structure of row and column so all the logic blocks are interconnected through this rows and column structure now to this particular row and column we are connected with the IO blocks so these all are called as input and output blocks so the second element in case of our arch uh, architecture will be input and output blocks to this input output blocks we are connected with the IC pins okay so IO blocks are connected with the IC pins and these all configurable logic blocks are connected with this particular patterns just ko hum kahte hai interconnection paths so these all are nothing but are interconnection path that are used to connect all that the all, all the configurable logic blocks with each other so the third parameter or third component of FPJ will be interconnection paths so again in case of uh, FPGA we have three elements one is a configurable logic block second one is the IO block and third one is the interconnection paths now based on this only we can connect multiple input outputs multiple boolean functions with each other and that becomes the field programmable gate array now let's come across what actually it contains and what it actually doesn't contain so when we come across FPGA it doesn't contains any and or planes so just like we have seen in case of CPLD or SPLDs we have and or configuration but in case of field programmable gate array we don't have and or planes instead what it contains it contains the logic blocks to implement the logic function and we have seen configurable logic block CLP so they are used to implement the logic functions so we are having three components as just discussed one is a configurable logic blocks second one is configurable IO blocks 
एंड थर्ड वन इज प्रोग्रामेबल इंटरकनेक्शन पाथ जिसको हम कहते हैं राउटिंग चैनल अब देखिए दिस इज कॉल्ड एज प्रोग्रामेबल बिकॉज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द यूजर्स नीड और डिजाइनर्स नीड द इंटरकनेक्टिंग पाथ्स कैन बी कनेक्टेड सो देर इज नो सच स्ट्रक्चर्स वेयर यू हैव टू यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर पैटर्न विद दिस इनपुट सो एज पर द नीड यू कैन मॉडिफाई दिस सो दिस इज अनदर एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग आर फील्ड प्रोग्रामेबल गेट आर ए सो दीज आर द थ्री कंपोनेंट्स नाउ वेन आई कम अक्रॉस द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक एज कॉन्फिगरेबल लॉजिक ब्लॉक हाउ कैन यू डिफाइन इट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ द फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट एज कॉन्फिगरेबल लॉजिक ब्लॉक अब ये क्या होता है सो दिस ब्लॉक्स आर अरेंज एज एन अरे ऑफ रोज एंड कॉलम्स तो हमने अभी स्ट्रक्चर में देखा था वी आर हैविंग अ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ रोज एंड कॉलम्स सो दिस ब्लॉक्स आर अरेंज इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस रोज एंड कॉलम्स द लॉजिक ब्लॉक्स आर कनेक्टेड टू द आई ओ ब्लॉक्स थ्रू दिस प्रोग्रामेबल इंटरकनेक्ट सो जो आर्किटेक्चर है आई विल शो यू this particular logic blocks are connected with we'll see with this one this particular configurable logic blocks are connected with io blocks through these channels jisko hum kehte hain interconnection paths so they are used to interconnect these two particular elements now the next point the common row oblique column interconnects are also called as global interconnects because they are connecting many of the functions many of the io blocks with the many of the logic blocks that is why we can call them as a global interconnects now when we come across what is there inside the logic block kyunki it is implementing the logic function so this logic block basically consists a large number of logic modules jisko hum kehte hain lms so every logic block every configurable logic block will have a set of several so many lms logic modules that means they can be used to implement logic functions based on the applications so let's come across how actually the structure of our configurable logic block taken place so this is a simple scenario of our configurable logic blocks now in this case you can see uh, this is the row and column structure which is called as global row interconnect is wale ko hum kehte hain global row interconnect and this one vertical it is called as global column interconnect so we are having row connect and column interconnect inside this we are having a configurable logic block will be concentrating only one which contains a large number of lms logic modules which are connected with this particular blocks with a local interconnect and these several blocks are again interconnected with each other so every logic block is having a set of row interconnect column interconnect and it contains several logic modules now what actually this logic module contains that will be a point of discussion so let's go for actually how logic modules look like so we are having this particular term you can see as far as uh, this is a uh, simple schematic of our logic model logic model again all these contents we have taken from uh, the famous author rpj uh, with the book name as modern digital electronics so in case of this logic model if you see we are having the first component or first one as lookup table now what is lookup table it is nothing but a table that uses a relationship between certain inputs with the output terms so we are using here a four input lookup table with the four inputs maybe let's suppose a b and c d is there so based on the logic functions we can get any combination ab dekhi agar four variables hai to we can get 16 combination so in 16 combination maybe i will be getting a bar b bar c bar d bar plus let's suppose a b c d bar plus any function is there so whatever the output of this will be connected ac stored across the d type flip flop again we are using a d type flip flop as a delay flip flop and we are using a multiplexer so this multiplexer is having two inputs one from output of this lookup table and the second is from this d flip flop now if i am having two inputs let's suppose this is first input this is second input i need a single select line as yes 
and that will decide whether the output of lookup table should be connected or the output of deep deep blob should be connected so based on that whatever the functions we are implementing they get at the output top. so this will be the scenario in which uh, the field programmable gate array works okay so again in case of field programmable array the very, very most first important term is architecture which contains uh, configurable logic blocks then it contains interconnects then it contains io block and ic pins in that we have to explain about the configurable logic blocks which consists of global interconnects ek to row ka tha dusra column or third logic model so when we go through this all models it will be the final term as output so this is how actually our field programmable gate array works okay so this note will stop here thank you